You guys have given me the most difficult challenges the NHL 23 has to offer. I mean, last episode, I was playing with my controller upside down and attempting to win a shootout. So you know what? It is time for us to go back to basics. A difficult challenge, but a simple challenge. This one here has a special spot in my heart. The last time we did this was back in 2018. Roll the clip. Okay, let me try a couple moves here just to see if I can do it. Let's go, Malkin! One-hander with the gloves on. Holy, the precision on points. Beauty play. This thing. Yo, all I did was grab my controller. No. That is right. Today is the hockey glove challenge. The rules are simple. We can go and score whatever kind of goal that we want to score, but we have to do it wearing hockey gloves. You know, just putting the controller in the hand. Obviously, the mobility is a little constricted. We're not going to be pulling off any crazy, crazy dangles, but we still do have full motion of the sticks. Like usual, I have done zero warm-ups. I have no idea what to expect. Literally, the last time that I did this was back in NHL 18. Of course, you know the drill. We are going to be playing playing two online shootouts and putting two big packs on the line and what better way to do it than the biggest pack in the store right now that is right we have the tournament players pack it is 35 players a huge pack with at least 780 plus overalls in terms of our odds this is our best chance at it i'm telling you right now we are due for a purple more than anyone has ever been due for a card in their life all i want to see is a little purple outline pop up on the card at some point in this pack opening and i'll never complain again a 21% chance. Not bad odds. Without further ado, let's hop in to the hockey glove challenge. Wish me luck because I, I truthfully, truthfully need it. First up, we got to get our random team. You know the drill. One, two, three. The Winnipeg Jets. Okay, honestly, a pretty good shootout lineup and most importantly, a good goaltender. Okay, game number one. It is the Jets versus the Red Wings. Now, we do have to keep in mind, we both have to play player and goalie with the hockey gloves on. And the mobility is going to be a little tough. First, let's, let's see if we can do like a Kyle Turris. Can we do, we can do our go-to moves. A little toe drag. Hold up. Say it's so toe. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm not going to lie. I... I didn't really mean to do any of that. I did want to do a standstill toey, but I wanted to take it obviously from left to right and it hit the backhand. But with the hockey gloves on, we are a little limited in what we can do. So we got Raymond coming down. Maybe low key, maybe, maybe this is going to help me. Because the good thing about the gloves is you're not doing those quick movements. Like usually I'm using the right stick going side to side. I'm just hitting, letting the, uh, the left analog stick kind of handle a majority of the work. We're going to do something simple. I'm never taking the gloves off. Every single shootout challenge from this point forward, we're rocking the gloves. I don't know what that goal was. I, I don't know how it ended up in the back of the net, but uh, we have two pretty nice, but also pretty lucky goals. All right, Hellebuck, we're going to hit with the fake fly. Come out. Yep. Dude, this this is this is the easiest challenge that we've ever done. I, I just feel like I'm playing a normal game, but getting luckier than I ever have. All right, let's get a little creative now that we're up two. We're going to go a little couch first. Can I go between the legs? I might lose this puck. We do lose the puck. What? Batsuk. Okay, he moved the fly. A, a clean dot soup there would have been nasty. But we were a little slow to it. Waited a little too long. Got a little too close. Hello, look. We're going to hit him with that fake fly again. Oh! <laughs> the glove. I mean, actually, the, the actual glove save. Let's go. What a glove. All right, Pierre-Luc Dubois. I'm going to go in. Little kick deek. You know what? We're going to go for the dive. I'm feeling it. was the most disgusting dive that I have ever seen in this game as Pierre-Luc Dubois waits as long as physically possible and even with him in the spread eagle we bump it over the pad into the back of the net are you kidding me that might be the craziest goal i have ever scored in a shootout and we are wearing hockey gloves while we do it let's take a look at this replay pierre luc dubois coming down does the sidestep windmill look at this goalie swipes at it and misses it pierre dives out 
with the the misdirection dude no shot he should be able to pull that shot off but he does and it ramps off the pad off the skate into the back of the net the craziest dive that i have ever seen in this game and we do it with hockey gloves on our hands that was absolutely disgusting pld how do you do? I think it is safe to say that we may never do anything like that again. What a goal from PLD. I still don't know how it happened, but it did. So hopping in to shootout number two. We have team number two. One, two, three. The Minnesota Wild. Okay, honestly, not bad. We got Kaprizov in there, Zuccarello. This, this is two very good teams. Okay, shootout number two. We got the Wild versus the Canucks, and they have their beautiful jerseys on as well. All right, we know what we have to do. We're already nice and warm. I feel like my mobility is actually not that bad. Goalie, we're better than we normally are. Player, we're about the same, but we're getting a little bit more luck. Now, will the luck continue? Let's see, a little Kyle Turris. Can I do I'm going to try it. You know what? We're going to go dumb here behind the back right off the rip. Oh! <laughs> oh, dude. dude, there is no way we are scoring these goals. Hockey gloves and all. We hit, I mean, one of our cleanest behind the back goals that we have scored all year long. Sit down. Dude, this is unreal. Let's keep this rolling here. Flurry, we're just going to lock down again. I'm just going to be... Okay, if he, comes in if he comes in close like that, we're kind of in trouble. My strategy has been very minimal RT usage and very minimal right stick usage. But if he comes in close, we're gonna have to use that right stick. Okay, not ideal, not ideal, but that's okay. Should we do something dumb again? I think he's gonna be ready for something. So we're gonna hit him with the flying pop. Oh, if that would have went top left corner over his shoulder, imagine. A big save from him though. We're trying to get a little creative. Okay, let's see if he has some creativity or is he just gonna keep it simple? Okay, this is how it's gonna be, huh? I got hockey gloves on. This is how it's gonna be. Nice backhand. I'm out of position. That's on me. Gotta give it up to the man. He's playing a decent game. We got Kaprizov. Let's go here. Little toey. Little big clap. Yes. Man, he hits us with the flying poke, dude. I will say the flying poke and the pad sackers are the two things that we really do not have the opportunity to do on with the hockey gloves on. I could maybe do it, but I'd hit probably like four other buttons in the process and it would just not look pretty. So we're going to keep that simple. All right, this is a must score situation. I'm going to go full speed at him. No stops, no stops, no stops. Boom. Got him. Easy reads. Let's hit him with the little... Gotta love that Selly from Zuccarello. I thought we were gonna have some sick Y Selly, and then we just we just do this. Sick. Way to be. Way to be, Zook. Okay, we have even things up, but we do still need to make a save here. We're gonna hit him with the fake fly. Yes, sir. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Yes, sir! That patience! He waited too long. He was trying to wait for me to do the right stick. Usually, I panic there and just whack it away. But not today. We're gonna go a little behind the back. Uh, I'm going to do a standstill toe drag. Oh, he actually came off that side. I don't know how we didn't bury it. Maybe he stayed over there just long enough. Would have been a nasty finish, and now the game is on the line. Here we go. Everything. Oh, we lost it. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. What a save, Flurry. How did he not lose that puck? He didn't have it for like three seconds. Okay, nice and simple. We're winning. I'm not, I'm not getting rid of this pack. I'm telling you right now. Boom. Let's go. Little heartbreaker. Boom. Okay. I I was literally inches away from hitting that stick and losing the puck. Inches. But now a chance at victory. Will we go 2-0 and with hockey gloves on the hands? It's Husey. It's Husey. Sit down, Husey. Let's go. Two games, two packs, two dubs. And the Minnesota Wild get the job done. We scored a behind-the-back nasty goal with the gloves on, a behind-the-back and a diving desperation game winner with PLD. Back-to-back, -back, nasty games, nasty goals, and hopefully now nasty packs. Packs. You know what? For the pack opening, just because our luck, I think, has shifted. When we have those gloves on our hands, good things happen. I'm grabbing the gloves for the pack opening. Let's get it. Okay, it is another episode, and we still do not have a purple pull. Today is going to be the day. Tournament players pack. Again, 35 players. This is the biggest pack that I've ever opened. A 21% chance at an 86. We got the hockey gloves on the hands. Let's see what happens. Pack number one, game number one. This is where the desperation diving goal was. Of course, these packs are going to be big. They're going to be filled with a lot of fluff, though. I think it's only 780 plus overall cards. There's our first 81 overall. A second 80 overall. Okay, this is not looking good right off the rip. Another 80. 
Okay, I mean, it's a team of the week. Again, the card art, honestly, one of my favorite looking cards in the game. But not what we needed right here. All right, let's keep this rolling here. We're looking for those 86s as we get a Shabbat 82 overall. Keep it moving. I mean, at least the packs are big, right? The, the suspense is starting to build. Give me a little hype music here. All right, we got 10 cards left. Let's go, Chinikov. Keep this rolling. <gasps> Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, we did get a purple. I was hoping for something a little bigger, you know? At this point in the year, we need those 88s, 89s. But the curse has finally been broken. Patty Lane, one of my favorite players, has been buzzing IRL, and he now has an 86 overall card in Hut. Will there be something bigger at the end of this pack? Let's find out, all right? The curse is over. We have got our first purple pull in what feels like years i think it has literally been eight episodes no purples but today we got the job done last card nothing but that is okay the curse has been lifted and we are pulling a purple in our next pack as well patty line welcome to the squad pack number two i'm not gonna lie having the hockey gloves on the hands i am absolutely sweating right now let's end this with a bang i know i know you guys were asking all right i just had to tell you let's end this with a bang Again, it's a huge pack. You know, we could take our time. We're chilling. We got to we gotta cool down a little bit after what we just experienced. Patty Lane, not a bad pull. 86 overall. Can we go back to back and break the odds? 84 overall, Jack Eichel, not a bad pull. We'll take that. Let's keep this moving. I'm looking in the top left. I'm waiting for that purple to pop up. I just got a weird feeling we're going two for two. After everything we've been through, maybe the hockey gloves are the key. As we keep this rolling, 81 overall, Cam Atkinson. You love to see it. Bennington, that guy's that guy's wild. Yeah, just a few cards left. You know what? Cue the epic music again. Cue the epic music again. I'm feeling something at the end of this pack. I don't know what we're feeling, but we're feeling something. I believe we do still have... That might have been it for our 80s, actually. That, that's seven. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we got nine 80s. Okay. Brandon Lazowski, Mike Lazowski, yo, shout out to Mike Lazowski, that must be his son, 81, and Brandon, okay, chill, 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 we got two cards left, and three, two, one, bang, nothing doing, so pack number two, not quite the luck of pack number one, we did get an 84 overall Jack Eichel, but all in all, not a bad day. What an episode this was. I mean, we scored the nastiest diving goal that we have ever scored. We hit a behind the back one hander wearing hockey gloves and we finally broke the purple curse. Now we are still waiting for the day where we pull a card that has actually a decent amount of value. That day has, has still yet to come. But a banger of an episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A little throwback, you know? The NHL 18 days, good days, good times. A simple challenge, but a good challenge. And that is going to do it for this one. If you guys are enjoying the shootout challenges, you know what to do. Hit the video with a like. Hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 1 milli. And let me know any challenges you want to see in the comment section down below. That's it for me. I'll see you guys next time and peace.